Today's game from the MCG. My co-commentator for this match is Matthew Richardson. What a game we have here today, Dan. There's been quite a build-up for this one. Today it's Collingwood versus Geelong. We have the toss of the coin. Geelong kicking to the right of screen. Round eight. Both these teams coming off wins. I can't wait for this encounter to begin, and I think the crowd would agree with me too. They're on the edge of their seats. Anticipation is high, players are ready, and the game is underway. When you put on that jumper, the colours on the front is more important than the numbers on the back. Trelaw with the mighty fist. Blair sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Tapped by Blair. The ball in the hands of Grundy. Soccer kick. Dangerfield keeps it alive with the foot. Has it now. Going for goal number one. Ablett watches as it sails through the air. Ablett with the first goal. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The ball has been bounced. Smith nicely outclassing Grundy. Dangerfield is able to grab it on the half volley. Clean pick up by McCarthy. Short handball from Pendlebury. Oscar Elliott hand passes the ball to the runner going past. A nice long kick by Tui. Tui into a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. A low kick from Power. Slams it on the boot. Taken by Smith. Smith has some potential and he'll really be able to unlock that potential if he has some continuous effort. He gets boot to the ball. Grundy with the tap. He slams that on the boot. Hoskin Elliott marks the ball. Sending it on its way. Great hands. Launched long by Dangerfield. Trelaw gets the upper hand. Choose to kick it. A great effort. Grundy kicks the ball. Henderson just wanted it more then. Straight down the field. Nice mark under pressure. Chris has a lot of passion for this game. You can see it every time he steps onto the field. He's an inspiration to all players around him. Tui boots it long. He grabs it. Ablett lining up with the goals. Slams it on the boot. A solid mark from Taylor. 45 meters out. Oh, something must have carried that. It's a lovely long kick. Well, if you could hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. Which, uh, what can we say about that attempt? I'll tell you what, he hasn't got his kicking boots on. He looks for a man on the lead. Goal sack playing on out of the goal square. Gets the kick out of the defensive 50. Lucky bounce collected. The ball in the hands of Taylor. And he's heading for home. Paul and Smith is able to grab it on the half volley. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Grundy wins the tap. Terrible timing by Smith. Ends possession. Smith runs past and gets the ball. A lovely drop punt. Takes the mark all by himself. H has some potential and he'll really be able to unlock that potential if he has some continuous effort. He kicks the ball. Selwood with a strong mark. He slams that on the boot. McCarthy marks the ball. Sending it on its way. Murdoch having no trouble taking that one. Bumps the big skin. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Fantastic goal by Smith. Gets his first. That's two in a row for the Cats. 
Geelong lead the Magpies 13 to nothing. Smith is pretty handy around goal. He just has that sixth sense of knowing where the goals are at all times. Smith is superb with his ruck work. Once his eyes are locked onto the ball, there's little chance he won't get a fist to it. He slams that on the boot. He taps it. Blair with handball. Maynard shoots for goal. He drops the mark. He just wants some attention. He's approaching the goals now. The Magpies trails the Cats. Hurlow to bring it in. He plays on with a little kick. Choose to kick it. No one troubling him there. Bumps the big skin. Dangerfield has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Nice contested mark by Koskin Elliott. Great mark under pressure. Ash boots it. Duncan claims the ball. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Kicks. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Murdoch watching the ball. If that post was a couple of centimetres thinner, it would have been okay. The Cats leads by 13. There could be a short option here. Golsack plays on. Boots it. Blickhands takes the mark. Slams it on the boot. An easy grab for Gregson. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Menzel is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. He steadies now in front of goal. Murdoch shoots for goal. That's a great goal. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Blickhands taps it. Bump by Smith. Dangerfield just stopping for a quick dance. Murdoch puts his head down and runs in. The ball picked up. Clean pick up by Golsack. He's got the football now. Pendlebury onto the ball. He wins the contest. Oscar Elliott feeds it wide. Nice contested mark by Aish. Sends the Sharon on its way. Duncan gets the upper hand. Duncan is pretty good at hangers. He just needs to work on getting some more height if he really wants to master the skill. Sends the ball to open space. He gets bumped. Gets it off the ground. Dangerfield breaks free. He boots it. Selwood with great hands. He kicks the ball. Great hands. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. Marks. Taylor taking aim. A monster kick will be required from here. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Murdoch will avert his paycheck if he converts this one. Murdoch did well then. Geelong starting to exert some dominance over the Magpies with a lead of 26 to 1. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? The scoreboard definitely reflects what a marking powerhouse the Cats have been. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close, locked horns in the tackle contests, 13 to 10. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richo. Winning means you're willing to go longer, work harder, and give more than anyone else. Handballs from the tackle. Smith gets a hard bump from Fasola. Pendlebrick runs past and gets the ball. Now that miss could prove costly. That won't help. They need a goal. Collingwood trail by 24. Thurlow looking for a lead. He kicks it to himself. He gives the ball a mighty roost. Ablett looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Ablett's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. Tui boots it, he drops the mark, it's intercepted. The umpire calls a free kick. It comes off hands, Selwood takes the opportunity. Ablett with the ball, gives it to the running man, sending it on its way, kept his composure then. 50 metres from home, kicked by Taylor. Nice mark under pressure. Jams it on the boot now. McCarthy claims it. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. 
Ablett will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. The mark is taken by Smith. A cool, calm head, clearing it out of defence. Pasolik sends it out to space. He soccers it. Off the ground. Shoots off the handball. Kicks towards the middle of the ground. Blair looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Blair needs to work on his vertical leap because at times he can be found wanting when he's leaping for the ball. Dangerfield with good strong hands. He gets boot to the ball. He grabs it. Puts boot to ball. Gregson marks the ball. Slams it on the boot. Strong mark. Works it across the ground. Smith wins the marking contest. 45 metres out. The ball is stopped towards goal by Smith. Chalk up a goal for Toulon. The second goal for Smith. That's four in a row for the Cats. The Cats by five goals. The bounces straight up and down. Smith aims for his man on the ground. Is in his possession. Pendlebrick collects. These possessions just keep ticking over for Broomhead. Superb handball. Puts boot to ball. H having no trouble taking that one. H can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Good mark. He lines it up with the goal. Boy, do they need to score. Nice kick, just a little bit too wide and it's bounced off the post. Teammates scrambling to make a lead. Nice work from Maynard. 35 metres out. Maynard with a kick and goal. Look at that. He's put a throw. Double settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. All is in readiness. There's the bounce. Smith guides it. Lucky bounce collected. Murdoch feeds it wide. Nice work from Crisp. Keeps it close to the ground. Dangerfield gets the upper hand. He spears the ball. Ablett the better man there. When the Fords are marking the ball so plainly inside 50 like they are now, it must give Geelong a lot of confidence, especially when the pressure is on. Chris slams the ball to his boot. He takes the contested mark. He slams that on the boot. Kept his composure then. Pendlebury kicks the ball. Trelaw with good strong hands. He spears the ball. Takes it well. Stewart with the kick. Slips through his fingers. The ball crosses the line. Neither Ruckman giving an inch. Grundy with the punch. Collected by Trelaw. Smothers. Guided by Dunn. Pendlebury aims for his man on the ground. Smith was taken high. That's a piercing kick from Smith. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Grundy. It's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. He handballs it. He wants it back. Blair blocks it. Trelaw. Clearly desperate for some attention. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Smith, with beautiful hands above the head, he really is a great target to kick to. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. Murdoch going for number three. A magnificent kick right through the middle. Good things come on threes. That's his third. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Good fist. Smith picks up the bouncing ball. Vasolik gets the ball. He grabs it on the run. Smith aims for his man on the ground. Blair delivers a nice bump for Henderson. McCarthy looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Having a big day going for goal number four. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Good tap from Stanley. The bouncing ball is controlled. Golsack gets the ball. A lovely drop punt. And the mark will be paid. Bumps the pigskin. Nice hands. Murdoch will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. Murdoch likes his chances for goal. Murdoch just squeezes it over the line. He's kicked a bag of five. Not a bad result. Murdoch obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Knocks it down in front. He gets his hands on the footy. Golsack finds his man on the move. Wins the handball. Phillips lines it up. Phillips with the shot. Pinpoint accuracy from Phillips. The Magpies not enjoying this. Phillips may not be the first guy you'd follow in the battle, 
but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Gets boot to high. Paul and Smith, the better man there. A monster kick will be required from here. Murdoch with the mark. 35 metres out. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. Just fell through. Goal number six. He's really putting on a show today. Richo has some stats for us now. You can barely split these two teams when it comes to possession with the... And here we go for the second half. Do not let what you can do interfere with what you can do. Murdoch bumped off the ball. He collects the loose ball. Nice contested mark by Taylor. This will certainly test him from this distance. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. 35 metres out. Murdoch pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. Geelong by 47. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The ball is bounced. Smith has such great hands. He always gives his team first touch and he seems to always know who's in the best position to receive those clever touches. Grundy knocks it down the field. Soccer kick. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Grundy timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Smith with the kick. McCarthy gets the upper hand. Gets boot to leather. Marks. Taylor. He's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable. And he requires a watchful eye at times. How? Collects it. It gets tapped. For Solo. Gets the ball. Smith with a bump. Grundy gathers it. He taps it. He gets his hands on the footy. The loose ball is picked up. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. 60 metres out. That drop punt works well for Murdoch. Opportunity now for Paul and Smith. 40 metres out. The ball is thumped towards goal by Paul and Smith. Tapped by Doxley. Out with the pass. The ball spills to Smith. He soccers it. Moves it quickly by hand. He's a ball magnet. Oscar Elliott marks. Jams it on the boot. He sneaks away for an uncontested man. A lovely drop punt. Tap by Tui. Guided by Toscan Elliott. He gains possession. Gives it to the running man. He lays off the pass. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Dunk with no time to delay with that kick. Kicks the skin off it. Trelaw intercepts it. Smith gets the tap. A favorable bounce. He gains possession. Ablett was surrounded, he needed to mark it, and he did. McCarthy alone for the uncontested mark. McCarthy told me recently that he really loves playing for this club, and you can really see it in his attitude on the field. I think he's going to play for this club for a long, long time. Selwood has given away a free kick. He boots it. He wins the contested mark. Stanley kicks it. McCarthy just wanted it more then. Boots it. Tui marks it. Slams it on the boot. Good mark by Ablett. Ablett. It's just a phenomenal mark. If I ever saw him drop one, I'll eat my hat. He kicks the ball. Murdoch. With beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Murdoch. Shoots for goal. Murdoch. Kicks it straight through the big sticks. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Golsack knocks it down the field. Stanley gets it on the bounce. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Broomhead gets the hand pass. Gets boot to high. Strong mark. Collingwood just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. He takes a strong mark. Ace boots it. Maynard claims the ball. Sending it on its way. Good mark. Blair lines it up. 30 metres from home. Blair steers the ball towards goal. This is the footy equivalent of rope and dirt. Collingwood, they're barely hanging on right now. Here's the bounce. Effective hit out there. Gains possession. Intercepted by Dangerfield. Selwood dishes it off by hand. Stanley going for number one. What a goal from a mammoth kick. Gets his first. This one gives them an even bigger lead. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. 
Clean tap by Stanley. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Sends the ball to open space. Golsack dishes it off to the running man. Chips it down towards half forward. Nice hands. That kick has covered a very long distance. Strong mark by McCarthy. McCarthy's got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. He boots it. That's a nice strong mark. Taylor whacks one on the boot for goal. The goal for the Cats. Taylor getting his first. The Cats lead the Magpies. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Here's the bounce. Stanley with the punch. He doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. In fact, it's fair to say he doesn't know the meaning of a lot of words. He grabs it on the run. Greenwood taps. Takes possession. Trelaw throws it. Clear as day. Dangerfield slams it on the boot. Selwood needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. He gets boot to the ball. That's a mark. He boots it. He takes a strong mark. He gets boot to the ball. That's a nice strong mark. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Wells. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Greenwood kicks. The mark missed by Phillips. He hand passes the ball. Elliot Butt. Looks like he panicked there. Maynard racking up the possessions. This is the footy equivalent of Roper Dove. Collingwood are barely hanging on right now. Thurlow waiting for the man to free up. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. Let's have a look at the stats. Geelong and the Magpies are very level on the position. And the last quarter of this match is underway. You're never a loser until you quit trying. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. Smith just squeezes the kick out. Smith gets the tap. Smith with the tap. Menzel comes away with the ball. Ablett onto the ball. Perhaps he was trying to audition for the ballet. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. From the movie of the same name, a beautiful behind by Paul and Smith. Geelong lead Collingwood. He has a few options. The mark is taken by Taylor. 35 metres out. Going for goal number two. Goal. When he's on song, he sings a very good song. Goal number two for Taylor. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Here's the bounce. Tap by Smith. Oscar Elliott on the ball at the moment. Pendlebury taps it. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Aish dishes it off to the running man. Tap by Stanley. Duncan with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Duncan with the tap. That came off the boot with huge power. McCarthy with the mark. Keeps it close to the ground. Guided by Taylor. Kicked in a flurry. A clean pickup. Kicked by Smith. Pendlebury has it. Shoots off the handball. Too slow with the handball. Looks like he panicked there. Dangerfield picks it up. The ball is hammered towards goal by Tablet. That's a goal. What a long kick. Ablett gets number two. They increase their lead. Ablett's just so creative that the coach has just given him the freedom to experiment and take the game on, knowing that he's just all class. Hand pass by Smith. He's running hot, Richard. Well, Dennis, I just think he's having fun with them now. Vasolik sends the ball on its way. Grundy has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Sending it on its way. Pendlebury, just the better man in that contest. Puts boot to ball. The mark will be paid. Blair kicks it. Greenwood with the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. A great effort. Duncan puts it on the boot. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Ablett with the mark. Puts boot to ball. Great mark under pressure. Jams it on the boot now. Nice contested mark by Murdoch. Heads up the corridor. Great mark. A stab kick from Stoxley. Grundy couldn't hang on to the ball. Very quiet by his standards. Is in his possession. Sweeping handball. Good tap from Greenwood. The loose ball scooped up. 
The advantage is played, tackled, but gets the handball off. Menzel couldn't hang on to the ball. Greenwood gets a less than pretty drop part away. Golsack picks it. Wins the hard ball. The McFords are marking the ball so plainly inside 50 like they are now. It must give Geelong a lot of confidence, especially when the pressure is on. He kicks the ball. Paul and Smith with the mark. He kicks the ball. Smith takes the mark. He boots it. Strong mark there. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Jams it on the boot now. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Smith keeps that one low. Broomhead looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Interception. Scoops up the bouncing ball. The ball mopped up. Nice drop punt. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Choose to kick it. Marked by Phillips. 40 minutes from home. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. Goal to the Magpies. You've heard the expression shooting fish in the barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Nice bounce. Goal sack timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Smith with the kick. A good mark under the circumstances. Puts boot to ball. Golsack marks it. Look, the Magpies haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Done. Marks it. He kicks the ball. Greenwood with the mark. He pumped that one. A great effort. He steadies now in front of goal. Phillips with the kick. Takes that one strongly. Sends it on its way. Stewart with the mark. He boots it. That's a nice strong mark. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Tuick sends the ball on its way. Nice mark under pressure. Ablett has a lot of passion for this game. You can see it every time he steps onto the field. He's an inspiration to all players around him. Ablett goes for home. It's on its way. Wow, we what a huge kick. Brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Blickabs taps it, takes possession. Pendlebrick gets the ball. Trelaw intercepts it. He wins the contest. Phillips will realise the precarious position his team faces and knows he must convert. It looks like they won't bridge the gap before this clock runs out. Thurlow to bring it in. Maynard takes it well. 35 metres out. And the fans are riding this one home. The Magpies are just being completely humiliated right here. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Golsack directs it down. Scoops up the bouncing ball. He has the ball. Nice hands. 50 metres out. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. The Magpies should really pack up and go home at this stage. Thurlow waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Stewart kicks it. Collingwood were punished. Well, I enjoyed the match, Richo. How about you? Grass grows, birds fly, waves pound the sand, and the Cats beats teams up. Final scores are 99 to 36. Fred Show, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, Dennis. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Until next time, goodbye.